What is going on? It is go time. This is Mortar Mike, and this is yet another Watcher of Realms video. Y'all, I cannot thank y'all. I got to give y'all props because y'all have been bringing attention to the content we've been making. Today is going to be a very simple video, but it's also going to be a thank you video. First and foremost, the thank you part. I want to thank you guys because you guys have been watching our content. You've been giving me, um, you know, likes, subscribes, dropping awesome comments, you know, chatting about different stuff we've been doing. And I just want to say I genuinely appreciate all of you awesome people for what you guys have been doing to help support the channel. That being said, I'm going to have to be plotting and scheming and planning a giveaway because I just checked today and I think we just hit over 1,500 subscribers on the channel. So kudos to y'all. Gotta say, pretty daggum happy. So I gotta figure out what I gotta do a giveaway on. I gotta figure out what I'm giving away. I think it might be something like, you know, it might be like some W Gold or it might be a couple different copies, free copies of the Divine Invasion book. Yeah, I can get those too, I can get those too. But I just wanted to say, I genuinely appreciate you all. I think you guys are amazing. I can't thank you enough for supporting the content we've been putting out. I have so many videos that I am making right now and I've been doing collaborations. There's one that's coming. I'm going to wait until they put it out. It's from a nameless channel, so you've never seen their face. That might make it obvious who it is. But that collaboration is going to be out in a matter of days. I got content that I filmed on the test server um, where we had a really big discussion on stuff involving Guild v. Guild as well. And the new content that's coming out, which is Demon Crusade. I'm happy because also when I finish this video, mention it because you guys are here watching it. When I finish this video today, which is a simple summary video and a thank you, I am going to be able to go onto the test server and play Demon Crusades. I'm able to go on there and make content and show you guys how to play through Demon Crusades, what it looks like. You guys can ask questions in the comment section. You guys will be like, yo, what do you think of this? Or I think this is cool. I want to know your feedback on what you guys think about this. This is not even global news yet. This has been on the Forerunner server for a few days now, which is dope. It wasn't even on the test server. It was that in the works. Like it just showed up on Forerunner. It showed up in the notes and then it popped out, which is cool. And people's like, oh yeah, Demon Crusades. And it kind of popped by it. No, 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 no. Let me explain what this is. And no, I'm not being paid a sponsor. I think Google pays me for this video. I don't, there's no sponsorship here. So you're using your demons for PVE content, not just Guild v Guild. So those of y'all that like Guild v Guild, boom, you have another way to use your collection of demons that you have to compete the co complete new content. And it's multiple levels. It's not like map one and map two of Guild v Guild. There are stages. Think of it like a giant version of, I mean, it's a pretty big extension. So I can't say it's like the, Fauci event or like the Captain Rev event is bigger than that. Like it's so big, you can only do a certain amount of stages a day. <laughs> and then it's like a different mold beyond that. But I'll save that for the actual video because one of the videos that I have coming up, I'm gonna record, you probably seen it by now if you see this video. I actually show three of the new champions that you can get from playing Demon Crusade. I'm so, so ready for it. But let's get to, let's get to the point. Let's get to um one of the main things y'all are here to see because I think people like them. Let us get into the summons. If you've been following me, I've done, actually, so here's what's interesting. I did a bunch of pulls. I did a second batch of pulls. I think I ended up doing a third one, but the third one I ended up doing in a video with Destin. So you're gonna see that. He's, his video is probably gonna come up before my video. I'll be honest, I try, it's faster. <laughs> but. In the end of the video, I think it's the end of the video, I was like, yo, just pull everything I have on my account. Let's just see if we get some those. I did even more summons in that video, which is nice. And this is the wrap up to getting Fauci. Why am I getting her? Yeah, oh, she's not amazing. Oh, she's not good at this. I do, let me full screen this. Let me full screen this so this is very obvious. I do not care. We do not care. If somebody says a champion is amazing or a champion is trash, I'm gonna tell you why because that's only speaking for the now. There's been many times in this game where people will get champions and say champions are not great, champions are slept on, champions are not all, well, no, no, no. champions are not great, champions are, you know, they're useless, there's no place for them in the game. And I will be honest, there's many times where there aren't places for champions in the game. But if there's one thing that Watcher Room has done a good job doing, just in my experience, is they've been making areas where even champions that were once clowned or, you know, joked about, are amazing. Primarily the Codex, the Mortal Codex. Mm -hmm. Aveline, 
a, a defender that nobody really used for anything other than faction trials, if we're being honest. That's just about it. And even barely there if you had the other options. They didn't use her. Then they put in the Sokodis Codex, which is my favorite Codex boss, by the way, my favorite one. They put her in there and she became like, I, I will be honest, the number one champion to have because of her accessibility and how well she is. To Zira, when you play this game, we have this running joke of like the Pokemon that you get at the beginning because it's four um, different marksmen that you get a chance of getting and one of them is to Zero. I think the other one's Brienne, then you have Idril, and I can't recall what the fourth one is. I'll probably have to put it in the screen, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You were forgotten, but so bad. Yeah, so you only had a few options to pick from. And she ended up becoming an awesome option for the Sticks content. So much to the point where they made her a free champion to be able to get or buy in the shops in future content, which you probably should not do. Play the game for a week, you'll pull it to zero. But um, but I say that because there's champions in the game that at, at current time, they're not Calypso. Nobody used Calypso for much of anything. Now she's wonderful in the sticks boss. Like I love the fact that there's not just content that just puts champions in the dirt and they're forgotten, they're trash, they're terrible. No. Nah. Every, I say just about every champion. Harpoon, I'm sorry, bro. You're out there on your own. Aspen, you're trying your best. Well, Aps, I said Aspen. Apsan, you're trying your best. <laughs> but you know, your time will come. You're like, it's good for faction trials, sure. They do a good job of going over the champions that are already in the game and making content to make a lot of champions that are sometimes forgotten shine. And then at the same time, as much as we did not like the adjustment for Boreas, let's be real. Let me go switch to this here because we might do summons. As much as we didn't like the adjustment, it was also good to see that they were making future content to still not make Borea seem like the overpowered champion that he was. You would be upset if Gear Dungeon came out, the Gear Dungeon, the one that's playing, I think it's active right now, you would be upset if Boreas could one-shot everything in that content. But they made it to where there's such an intricate way that you do not have to worry about, I don't have a Boreas, I can't tap, I can't ace through this entire thing. So I like that that start through. Temple, who's gonna come through the portal? Let's see. It looks like we're pulling gold, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know I get hyped when I see this. Is it gonna be Falcia? Is it gonna be somebody? First one, who's this? <laughs> I wanted this guy. I didn't want him right now. <laughs> I did not want this guy right now. But I'm glad to have him because I told you I'm a collector in the game. Yeah, there's gonna be somebody like, this guy's trash, he's terrible. This is what's good about this. Now I have a chance to build him for myself and see if I like him. Here's the interesting thing. So I have access to the test server also. And I don't build a lot of champions that I don't have because I don't see the real benefit of them yet. Until I've played with them, then I usually kind of take it more seriously and jump to the next level. Now if it's newer champions like Sephirina or new ones that be the added to the game, then sure, I do a little bit more playing around with them, which is funny because I let my kiddos do summons on the test server with me occasionally. Like they just like pressing the button and seeing stuff come out. And one of them pulls Sephirina. <laughs> And I had to put my finger over the game for like six seconds while I tried to back out of the champion. So um, it's not necessarily kid friendly, like, Moon Time. We gotta do something about that. I mean, we, we thought that um, Levian was pushing it, but Severina is just refusing to be clothed. <laughs> Let's get to these summons because uh, your boy been waiting for a while. I'm going to do eight, then uh, two tens, and then I'm going to go ahead and use those gems. I think that'd be, yeah, is it, wait, is that enough? Yeah, that's enough, let's do it. So I'll do the singles, I'm just doing the singles first because I like doing 10 pulls, I'm more hyped for 10 pulls. Who, who isn't? <laughs> oh, Lily, another perfect example. Lily is amazing because she's a good healer, she's a great healer, but people just slept on her kit because they didn't find much of a reason to use it. Now she is probably in the top three, and I really do mean that. Arguably, she's in the top three healers in, um, in Guild v Guild. Her ability to keep your champions from dying, for one, she can do it every minute. So if you have a champion that's gonna die, she can keep them from dying. So this comps like Tordor, and then Baron, and then her, and you know, like a Valkyra in the background. Do you know how hard that is? No, Arrogance would be in the background, a Valkyra sometimes, but usually Arrogance because he gets the Nightmare bonus. You have to kill Baron twice. You have to kill Tordor twice. 
On top of that, Lily's stopping one of them from dying every minute. And then Toro at A5, which you're not worried about that much, but at A5, he becomes, on A, he becomes revivable one more time. You know how hard that is to beat? <laughs> Especially if you can't get back there and get arrogant. So it's one of the best comps out there, but shout out to Slade. I mentioned her in a previous video. She shows how to beat that comp, which is dope. All right, we got Lily, and also interesting fact, Lily was the very first champion on my account that I A5. She was the very first one. And I slipped on, I used her, she was great. She also helped me a whole lot in campaign because I slip up, my gear was trash and my champions would die, but she keep him in the fight. So I got a, I got a, I got a soft spot for Lily because she really did help my account. So summon again, we're gonna burn the singles and we're gonna get the temples. Oh my gosh, as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to record the next video. Like as soon as I finish it. Oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's truly, it's not time to go, but it, it truly is go time. <laughs> Sheller, dope, a Shelor. All right, five more, then two tens. Um, it'd be awesome if you get another one along the way. It'd be nice. And honestly, at this point, mm, I would, would I be upset if I pulled her early? Probably, because I would have loved to got it sooner. And I had an earlier summer session where um, I went pretty far into getting my pulls going, and I pulled a Lego, and um, it was um, it was Orum, <laughs> one of the more hated on champions right now. I'm gonna do my diligence to find out if there's areas in the game current that he's good in. I'll be honest, it's not a lot right now, but since he's a defender, since he has counter attacks, since he has burning. There's a chance that he may have some content that he's gonna be good for in the future, in the future. Um, also, I love how much effort they put into the design of the champion. So whenever I see stuff like that, I'm like, okay, there's enough of a reason for me to pay attention. It's not just a clone of somebody else's in the game either. All right, double tens. Wait, yeah, 10, 20, 30, and then we get a foul chain here. Maybe more, who knows, let's see. Oh, not in this one, that's taxing, baby. <laughs> That's all tax. <laughs> and I want to know too, because I don't, I'll be honest, I don't know the day that Demon Crusades is coming to global, but I'm willing to bet it's going to be fairly soon because we're also having conversations about the new guild boss is going to be coming before now. Um, you guys saw the interview with my bucket. Also, there's been some mysterious information, like, you know, future travelers and stuff that, you know, kind of like say that stuff is going to be coming soon. So, I would be very interested. There's like three or four new things that's coming to the game soon. And then also, Pelagios goes, oh, nice doubles. Um, Pelagios goes live within the next couple of days in the Mortal Codex. That's a new boss for global server. I like that. Why am I optimistic? Why is Mortal Mike so optimistic about this game? Because I freaking enjoy playing it. <laughs> I actually enjoy playing the game. Yeah, I get some gems sometimes. Yeah, I get a couple bucks off of YouTube. It's not a lot. It's like 30 bucks all together. All together, not even joking. Well, um, my joy is being able to play this game because it's fun. I enjoy doing it. And also my daughter and my son, my daughter is six and my son is um, three, just turned three like a week and a half ago. They love doing summons. So we'll jump on a test server and I'll just let them do summons. The problem is one of them pulls Serafina. <laughs> And I had to cover the screen when they pulled it. But, um, you know, that's another thing which is kind of funny. But I enjoy playing the game. So last 10, let's go ahead and get her to the account. Welcome to the account. I guarantee gold is here. At long last, it'd be awesome if I get a double. But hey, I'll take what I get. Of course, I'm expecting Fauci to be a champion. I'm going to enjoy using. Is she S tier? Not yet. But I'm glad to have her. <laughs> But I'm glad to have her. <laughs> yes, I did the pulls. I don't plan on using any of the future banners that I've gotten wind of that's coming. Mm -hmm. I don't plan on it. Not saying that you shouldn't. If you don't have a Setchum, if you don't have a Seraphina, is it Seraphina? I know I'm probably just saying it wrong. I'm not gonna tap her on the screen right now because I'm trying to keep this video from having to go and make um, pixel blurry mosaic on the screens. I, I try not to have to do that because extra editing. Falsha, she has joined the account. I'm glad to have her. And another reason why I did this too is if there's another event where you get to summon her, I don't want to have to be caught out in the wind and not have what I need when it's time to get her, you know, at that point in time. So I figured I got it now, might as well go ahead and get it now. So that's why I enjoy doing this here. Falsha has joined the account. 
nice. I'm a happy camper. Oh, I wish I had enough to do like another 10 and she came again as an A1. That'd be nuts. But I don't think that's the case. This week all together is gonna be nice. So I got Void Riff I had to finish, I have to finish, so I get rewards from that. You know what? Just because I'm here. I'm not very I'm only 61%. I haven't fought the second boss yet. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I got a nice exclusive just while y'all here. You know why y'all here. Um, you're not worried about the mythical forge. I want the exclusive forge, that's it. That's a chance at four right there, so. Heaven's Rage, nice, good to have, but there's other ones that are better options. Bloodlust Phylactery, I wonder, would that be something that's really good on, um, on Cyrus? But Cyrus doesn't get hit that much until they actually get to him because he has his double means in front. Two more. Bastion Ring, the one that I want more than anything is Dragon's Bane. I want Ajax's um, exclusive artifact because to me it's the best one in the game. It's legit the best one in the game. And another Sharpshooter's Crest, good to have. Especially for all my Awakened, not Awakened, especially for all my um, Pierce the Champions, and they're gonna be playing against Pelagios. And Sticks comes tomorrow, tomorrow, so I get to put my Calypso in there. And if you don't know, I pulled the Calypso in my sleep. <laughs> yes, I pulled Calypso in my sleep. I was playing the game and I literally dozed off for the night and I woke up and um, I had to unlock my phone because it was, you know, because the phone was supposed to sleep and Calypso was on my screen. <laughs> it was like, I was hyped because I always wanted her, especially for the Sticks boss. I was freaking ecstatic because now it's a champion that some people didn't like and now she's wonderful in a piece of content. But I think I've spit and chatted and yapped long enough for this content. This has been your boy Mortal Mike. My next video that you're gonna see after this one is gonna me talk gonna be me talking about Demon Crusade and having a freaking blast. I'm gonna just jump on right after this, plugging up my other device. Oh, my daughter has it right now, so I've gotten hooked on Royal Match. Um, it's a video, it's, it's just a game that's on the tab. I've gotten hooked on it because she plays it, and now I'm like, you want some help? I got you want some help. You need help on that? Yeah, let me do about 20 moves for you. Um, but <laughs> but after that, I'm gonna be jumping on um, Demon Crusade, trying it for the first time. It's been really awesome. Shout out, I will say this to you, shout out to the devs. Um, I actually made a request if it can be added to test server because it was just on Forerunner. And they added it on test server like a day later. And I'm freaking happy for that because, you know, I just like the fact that they thought enough to say, hey, let's just make it accessible and did it in a heartbeat and now I can go out here and talk about this so when the time comes y'all are going to be enjoying it. So this has been your boy Mortal Mike. Can't thank you guys and gals enough for watching. Do your like and subscribe. Do your thing. Press that like button. If you don't like it, press the like button three times. I appreciate you. Um, <laughs> y'all have an awesome time. I hope to see y'all in the comments. Shout out to y'all that have been watching the video as a premiere. I love communicating with y'all in the live. I think that's over here. I can actually point to it here. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all folks. Y'all the MVP. Um, but y'all have an awesome time. Thank you guys and gals yet again. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. What do you think I should be doing as a giveaway? That's an interesting question. I know there's going to be some people like, yeah, giveaway 100 W go. I haven't made that much from YouTube yet. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. But um, I, I think I have some options. Y'all let me know what y'all think I should do. Should I start doing some takeovers? I've been pretty intrigued by those. Should I start doing um, streams, live streams? I've been interested in doing that. I've been interested in also putting together a Discord because I want to be able to tell you awesome people when stuff is coming in advance so that you know and that you can enjoy it with me, with your boy Mortar Mike. And my daughter is officially under the door right now and she is trying to get in here um, because she's ready to, you, you can hear. This has been your boy, Mike. I have an awesome time. Take care. Peace.